In, in this screencast, I'm going to show you how to implement uh, SAS into your Routify project. Uh, now, what I have here in front of me is a working implementation, and I'm just going to go through the different things that need to be added uh, versus a regular Routify install. Um, so the first thing to change uh, is in package.json. Uh, you're going to want to have uh, these two lines added here, build SAS and watch SAS. And you're also going to want to have the um, rollup plugin for SCSS installed, uh, actually in the dev dependencies, not in the dependencies. So I'm just going to move this uh, up here. And um, another thing that you're going to want to add is within your rollup.config.js uh, um, you're going to want to change uh, the lines around uh, the um, this around line 60 so normally you'll see that uh, if you're in the in the routify starter um, so that's uh, this code uh, package.json I want it rollup.config.js. So within rollup.config.js, you're going to want to find uh, this line 60, production and serve, uh, which refers to the serve function. And you're going to want to change it to postscript production and uh, use uh, this function. Um, so I'll provide code um, along with, uh, with the video. Uh, but you're going to want to change it to this function. Uh, next, you're going to want to make sure that you have an actual SCSS folder, which uh, should be your file tree at the root level. And then uh, you're going to want to have some content in, the, in there to verify that everything is working. Next, you're also going to want to have a reference in the uh, bundled HTML and in the dynamic HTML file. Um, this bundle is, uh, is then, well, this reference is then used to actually link, link up uh, the, the CSS. So if you did all of that right, uh, you should have uh, working uh, SCSS within your Svelte project. 